Rolling? All right. Uh, my name is Seth. I'm from Manitoba, Canada, and uh, I'm a content creator. That's if that's what you want to call it. My main focus is on fashion content, and I work with companies like Xbox, Mason Valentino. I've done stuff for H&M, and then smaller fashion brands on Instagram. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wild. When I started, I shot in front of my garage. Like, I didn't have anything. I didn't have, like, a tripod lights. I just had, like, a little stool with um, a camp, like a camp cooler. And then I set that, propped that, and shot toward the garage outside, and I, that was it. I just shot off my thrifted fits. I never expected to be working with brands like Xbox or high fashion brands or get invited to New York Fashion Week or have an agency and all this stuff. I never thought this would be like a like an actual career. But it is now and I, I love what I do, so that's, that's all you can ever really ask for in like life. Patience is key, because without patience, you like always feel that you need to like push out more content, push out more content, push out more content. But I feel that Content gets pushed out on different algorithms at different times, so you just need to be patient. Being patient also prevents burnout. So, and creator burnout is like crazy. It's it's not it's not fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just be patient. You'll get it. I still think to this day, like if I can do it, like this this little guy from a small town in Manitoba that has like 10,000 people, you can definitely do it wherever you're at. It doesn't take like. It takes hard work and dedication, but it doesn't like, it's not impossible. Yeah, it's not impossible. I think that's all the questions I had. Are we going thrifting, my man? Yes, sir. Let's get it. Oh man, Tuesdays are my favorite. That's when I get the, like, the new stuff in, and then I just go on Tuesdays. It's like, I get out of the house on Tuesdays. People always think like doing what I do, that I'm like driving some fancy car wearing designer clothes. No, I just stick to what I know, keep being me. Yeah, I, I knew nothing about cameras when I started, so like I've been learning just like as I go. Yeah, like ND filters and mics. Mics are like a whole nother investment. This is my domain, baby. You hear the sound of the racks squeaking, that's when it's, when it's, a, good, it's a good day. Mostly I look for hats, just cool hats or cool like wash tees. FIFA, baby. I'm not gonna get it, but I always try to find something that like really challenges me. Because if I'm not challenged, I'm kind of bored. See, now this is where I find like the weird things, like stuff that is just kind of chill. Like look at this thing. Like who wants to wear this? I kind of do. So now I just go through like the process of like elimination because I don't need all these things, but like this is a cool basic. I don't think I'll wear this, so I don't think I need this. This vest is a medium and it's 10 bucks. 10 bucks for a vest seems a little steep. Uh, this shirt is a shirt I could get anywhere. So I'm probably gonna leave this to the store with nothing today. <laughs> That's how it goes, dude. Like I don't need these things. I just pick them up and I think they're just fun. I don't know. So what I make a month differs, like every month. It could be two grand one month, next month it could be more than that, next month it could be less than that. It's all like a real gamble. So that's where you're kind of like, you're kind of like your passion kind of drives you. You're like, I don't care about the money, I'm just gonna keep doing this because I know the money will come. So patience is also key there. A lot of patience. What do you think of what, like what, Frappe, right, is the one that's yeah. kind of like yeah, the, any of the flavors. I, th I feel like Oreo and chocolate would kind of yeah. slap. Let's do that. Those are cool. Dude, these are my boxing shoes, and then Ooh. I realized that, like, they're kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> frappe, frappe, frappe. Please don't touch the plants. I'm going to thrift. All right. So I'll, let you I'll, guys have your thing. I'll see you there. You yeah, I'm, I'm going to go there, like, right away the grail. Now this, I'm picking up this. I'm gonna tell you the reason, okay? It's short, but it's got these wicked pleats in it. You put pants underneath this, and it just creates a cool look. Now this is cool, actually, this is sweet. I come here so often that I just keep saying the same things. What I've been trying to find lately is a leather bomber, but I want it to be brown. Like a really like like Tom Cruise aviator bomber. Disgusting looking leather jacket. It's, it's a medium. If it was an XL, I'd get it, because it's ugly. Dairy Queen. Yes. If uh, if if I paid you an, enough money for it, <laughs> don't you have to talk to the manager? Who's the manager? He's in the in the office. Brother. What? <laughs>
This bad boy was in the, uh, like on the auction table. And I was like, dude, I'll pay you 50 bucks for this thing. It's in pristine condition and it came with film. And I was like, I'll, I'll pay you 50 bucks right now to take that off the shelf. So I bartered with him for a little bit and we eventually got it. Might not work though. I'm optimistic. Have to post an ad for Harry Rosen today. I also have preloaded hashtags that I wrote up so I can just copy and paste them. Keeps it efficient. Let that one go live. So that's now posted on Instagram. Now I have to post it to TikTok. A lot of things like uh, like ads, people hate watching ads, but also ads are what keeps me creating the content that you want to see. Otherwise I can't create content at all without ads. But the best thing is when you find a brand that you can like uh, integrate into your normal content, not throwing it in your face like buy this, like I just did, making a video that you would usually make and then tagging the brand instead of like throwing it in their face. Brands don't know that, but that's how you get the most marketing. I don't understand why you want to like throw it in people's faces. Nobody watches that. Come on now. Put it over here. A lot of people ask for lighting tricks to get a nice soft light. You want to shoot your light up into the ceiling. This room is really, really poorly lit. So open up some windows. This is like the corner where things like get shot. This is the room, it's real small. And then I actually just have a setting on my camera preset for this uh, lighting. So I'll hook it up here. Let me check this out. You... Quiet, I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Jeff, it's not Sigma or anything. It's just like off Amazon. It's a fisheye lens for a Sony email and it's manual. It's like it's like a manual focus one where you have to like twist it and stuff. But I have yet to try it out. All right, sick, so it works. Yeah. Dope. That's so sick. Okay, now it's uh, now it's the bread and butter. Me with a camera lens is like me with like talking talking to women. <laughs> <laughs> It's just quiet. I'm just like watching myself. I love I loved video making because you can shoot something bad and then make it good after. Yeah. Like even if it looks bad, you can like edit it to make it okay. Once I'm set up, I shut everything off except the lights. Then I get to making the fits and that's the most fun part. You can come in, this is, this is my room. Where I keep all my stuff, my clothes, racks, pants, racks, stuff on the floor because it just apparently belongs there. All right, now I get to make outfits for this winter fit video. I'm gonna start with these these military pants because they're pretty like wide and cool. I feel like this vest could be cool with it. Lay that there. Then I look for something that goes underneath that vest, whether it be a hoodie or a shirt. And I'm thinking an, a shirt today, actually, like one of these. This holds sentimental value. It's got buttons on it now, but I got featured on Elle magazine with this bad boy. That was wild. That was nutty. Long sleeve crop shirt under that. Proportions wise is looking okay. I want some to flow with it though, but it doesn't have to. I'll get to the flowy later. Pop this bag on with it probably. My favorite bag. After I'm done like building the, like the basics of the outfit, I look for what I'm gonna wear for shoes. Probably go with these white combat boots. Headwear. I don't usually wear just hair. I don't wear my hair. I always wear like a beanie, a hat, or some type of weird hat. White, white, white. Maybe I'll put a tie on actually. Maybe I might put a tie on with this. It might look a little weird, but that'll probably come off. I'm not sure about that yet. This is just like to create looks. There's a difference between a look and an outfit, and a look is something that you put together for the artistic creativity of the fit. An outfit is something that you'd actually step outside with. I create both. Okay, this is the fit and I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna get changed into this fit. Next bit. Uh, hmm, maybe something flowy. Flowy pants from the women's section. Don't sleep, don't sleep. and then I'm gonna get to editing. That's a wrap on that one. I'm gonna airdrop them 
from my computer to my phone because my phone is what I use to edit. Uh, I don't use a computer. I think phone is handier. I need to get a bigger screen though because it hurts my eyes or an iPad. Most people have. I learned like a really cool lesson from this one guy that I'll, I would take with me everywhere is like use what you have already to like make the best content possible. You don't need like expensive equipment to make good uh, content. Just like I started like in my garage or on my driveway. I can edit on my phone. I can can use what I have. Where do you see yourself in five years? Yeah, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I see myself. Living in this house still with Tori. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, living in this house with Tori, doing the same thing every day. No, I, I don't know what I'll be doing in five years. Hopefully working for big brands, doing cool things. Bro's gonna have his own brand, you kidding me? Oh, that's true. I'm working on my, hey, I'm working on my own brand. That's what I'm working on currently. Awesome.